Yo, what's going on guys? This is Rush Hour, but you can call me Sean, and in this video, I'm playing with Real Pure No Scope, one of my buddies from school, and we're playing some Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops mode, getting ready for Modern Warfare 3 Survival mode. Now, we are in the map SniperFi in uh, Spec Ops. We're playing on Veteran, and we thought it would be difficult, but it's really not that hard. Uh, I don't know if that's because we're just beasts, but we didn't actually end up winning this. Now, you'll see how we died later on, but I, I want to talk about some Modern Warfare 3 survival mode information I found out, and some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it, and uh, how big I think this uh, game mode called survival mode will be in Modern Warfare 3. So, uh, basically starting off with survival mode, it's a two-player, either multiplayer or uh, local, or you can even do solo. Um, it's like a it's kind of like campaign, and it's kind of like zombies at the same time. You're versing uh, computerized bots that are going to be like shooting against you, and you have to survive as long as you can. So it's kind of taking a uh, zombies and twisting it up a little bit and giving the AIs guns. So I think that'll be really cool. I don't know if the hardcore zombies players will like it just because they're not actually zombies. They're actually like animated like real people shooting you so um it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in modern warfare 3 i think it's going to be a big hit i don't really know how many people are going to be playing it but i know it's going to be awesome i'm definitely going to be playing it on multiplayer i'm probably going to be playing it solo and uh with some buddies if they ever come over to my house we can do split screen so uh some people are wondering why it's not four players and the reason why it's not four players is because when they were designing the game, I feel like they were trying to uh, encourage a one, like yourself and just one other partner. They really want that strong relationship between you and your friend and to build teamwork and just build like the fundamentals of how to be a team player. If you have four people, sometimes it can get crazy. Sometimes like one or two people aren't really listening to you, but with two players, it really, really, really relies on strategy and uh, the communication between you and your friend. So, in Modern Warfare 3, the survival mode is gonna be a huge, oh, this was awesome, we'll get a no scope there. So, it's gonna be a huge thing, and either if you're playing by yourself, or if you're playing with a partner, either way, you're gonna have to be using a lot of strategies, and I watched some, I watched the live stream on uh, Twitch TV, I think it's called, and I saw some uh, gameplay from it, it looks really good, uh, so basically you start off with your partner with pistols and you can rank up, you can uh, buy new guns, you can, oh my dog is barking, I don't know if you can hear him, but yeah you can, you start off with a pistol, you upgrade to shotguns, you upgrade to some machine guns, upgrade to assault rifles and you can unlock more perks, you can unlock kill streaks, you can unlock uh, some more cool things in the game and you can play this uh, survival mode on every multiplayer map that comes out. And they're probably going to be give, ah whoa can't talk. They're probably going to be giving you some downloadable content. So relating to my other Call of Duty Elite video, uh, I talked about some uh, some downloadable content in there. And if you should pick up Call of Duty Elite, this would be another reason why you should get Call of Duty Elite. Is if they ever have downloadable content for survival mode, uh, some more map packs and stuff for that would be cool. So. Like I said, you can play it on every multiplayer map, and there's probably going to be additional maps just for survival mode, but I'm not too sure about that. And, uh, what else is there? There's, oh, so, let's say you're playing with your partner, and you're getting to high level of, uh, of waves. Um, there's an infinite number of waves, so there's not like, okay, you reach level 100 and you win. Like, you go as long as you can, kind of like zombies and black ops and stuff like that. You go as long as you can without dying, and it's going to be really cool because it's going to um, encourage people to challenge each other. People are going to go to school, challenge their friends, be like, yo, I made it to round 34, where round did you make it to? And stuff like that. People will be competing uh, on, like, what highest level of uh, survival mode you can get to. And it'll be really, really fun. I'm pretty psyched for it. I'm hoping I can get some gameplay up on the first day Modern Warfare 3 comes out with uh, me and a couple of my buddies, maybe doing back and forth survival modes. But yeah, just stay tuned for that. And uh, it's what else do I want to talk about in uh, survival mode? Hmm. So you can, oh, the juggernauts and the attack helicopters. So like 
every once in a while there's uh there's waves like maybe every five waves or something there will be rounds where you have to take out like one or two or maybe even three as the rounds progress you're going to be uh accomplishing more and harder tasks to accomplish so these juggernauts, I'm not I'm not sure if you guys know that there's juggernaut in this game, but if you don't, yes, there is juggernaut in this game. So basically, it's just a huge suit, and these AIs are going to be dressed in these giant armored juggernaut suits and trying to kill you. So I, I saw some things, and the easiest way to take out the juggernauts on the survival mode is to get them next to each other, maybe draw them into a little path so that you can take a predator missile that you purchased and just nail both of them with the predator missile so that you can get the double kill and the juggernauts are really hard to take down so i think it's worth the price of the predator missile because if you don't use the predator missile you're probably going to be wasting around 90 to 120 bullets each and which that's a lot of money to re replenish that ammo so the predator missile is probably the best way to well, this is start this is where we start losing but predator missile is the easiest way to get rid of the juggernauts and there's also waves where they uh, bring in like attack choppers and men and they've got dogs with C4 on them they've got humans strapped with bombs like freaking terrorists and stuff like that this right here was bad this is where we lost it I was freaking out I got stuck on the stairs and got shot but yeah that's it for this video. If you have any questions about survival mode, just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. And please subscribe and like to this video. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you.